2020 saw a big change to the engineering profession. We were pretty much overnight went from working from the office to working from home. And this is likely to continue somewhat for the rest of our careers. I'll quickly go through my home office setup that allows me to dynamically shift between working from the office, from my YouTube channel to play. So let's get into it. As any engineer, you know that whenever you're working from the office, working from two screens, you're more highly productive. As you can see here, I've got two screen set up. I've obviously got a 1080 screen and a 4K screen. The 4K screen, you don't need so much for engineering, but it's more for the YouTube channel and editing the videos. Just before COVID, obviously, I picked up this desk, and this desk is from IKEA. I picked it up right as COVID lockdowns were happening, so I was actually lucky at the timing, as pretty much then after, it's been sold out ever since. And obviously, we've got the big computer here. This is obviously not for work. This is for editing my YouTube videos, and if we want to play games, obviously, it's a big machine, but it allows me to connect up and edit the videos quite quickly. If we go through the basic setup, obviously, when I'm working from the office, so I've got this stock, which is highly critical, it allows me to connect up the screens that I need to. It also allows me to keep the computer out of the way and just this basic setup where I can connect other peripherals. As for portability, as I do move around a bit with the computer, obviously you need some sort of external storage and this is where I've got my Samsung hard drive. It's obviously really small, as you can see. It allows me to pack it quite easily and this actually gives me two terabytes of storage at a really small form factor. It's actually USB-C and it's really quite quick. So if you are looking to pick up any type of storage, this hard drive is highly recommended for my part. When I've been going to different places and need to take a lot of images around, it was really saving me a lot of time and effort. These peripherals are being chosen specifically because of they allow you to switch between multiple computers and they're also Bluetooth as well. So you can just set them on the desk, make your desk quite clean. We've got this keyboard from Logitech, which is the K580. So the good thing about this keyboard is it has a number of features. It is Bluetooth, so you do not need to plug in and plug out cables when you're switching between the devices. And it's also got two profiles as well, so you can switch between the two computers. So when we've got on computer one, which is the laptop, and computer two, which is a desktop, we can quickly switch between those devices. The board is, is quite thin and light. As you can see, it's a really small form factor. It can also hold the phone as well. This is actually a really great keyboard as it allows us to easily switch between the two devices quite quickly. And it also allows you to hold your phone and it's just nice and convenient and neat on your desk as well. And with being black everywhere, it also stands out. So it's, I think it's a quite good addition to the desk. As for the mouse, it's something that I've actually mentioned before in my previous videos, which is the MX Master 3. This is also from Logitech. This mouse also allows you to switch between those devices. It actually allows you to switch between three different devices, although we only have two here. The other good thing as well is if I need to transfer data between the two computers, it also allows me to transfer data. It has some sort of storage inside that allows me to transfer between one computer to the other as well. Mouse has been highly beneficial. It's got the two scroll wheels. So when you are scrolling through a big PDF, you can scroll up or down on one and left to right on the other. So it's really productive both for engineering and also as a content creator. So obviously with the screens, we have a Philips and a Samsung. I'll actually mention them here and here, but there's a couple of benefits with these screens. They're both 32 inch, so they're a similar size. But as you may be realizing on the video, that screen is a lot better resolution than this screen. So we've got a 1080 screen and a 4K screen. If you are working just on engineering, you don't need the 4K screen per se. It's a bit of an overkill, so it looks really nice. That's more for my creative side, so that's for the video creation. It really helps quite a lot. And so we've got the two screens, which makes you more highly productive as a structural engineer. As you see, you'll have PDFs on one screen and you'll have the designs on the other. It allows you to quickly switch between those, especially about this Philips. It allows me to have multiple ports input. So when I'm switching between the computers, it allows me to dynamically shift between the two computers. However, this Samsung doesn't actually allow for that. So for that, I've actually bought a switch that allows me to switch to between them. So whenever I turn on one device or the other device, it will dynamically switch to that device through that port in the background. And that was a quick, cheap device I actually picked up from Bunnings. It was only about $15. As I was saying, the screens also connect into the dock and the dock is for the laptop itself, not for the main computer. And obviously with this setup as well, I've got this little power cube that we picked up from Costco that has some charging ports on it and also got multiple ports around the outside. And I've actually hidden all the cables underneath, so it's got some quite good cable management. You were to see not many cables around. Obviously, the main powerhouse of this setup is the ZBook, at least for my engineering. And this allows me to not only work in the office, work from home, dynamically shift between where I'm going. Also has the power that I need to, to run the analysis software. It's actually a handy device as I was flying in and out of Canberra and Sydney quite regularly. 
and it allowed me to do all the engineering I needed to and quickly set up wherever I am. If I'm in the home office, I just connect into the dock. When I'm in the office, again, we have docks all set up at each desk. So I'm quickly able to switch from multiple monitors and connection devices. And so this is just a brief setup of my setup here. And obviously, if you have liked this video and it's giving you some ideas on how to set up your home office, give it a like. And if you do have any other comments to make this setup better, please comment below. I'm always looking to improve my setup. Anyway, I look forward to seeing you next week and I hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you haven't subscribed at this point, please subscribe and ding that bell to get all updates. Anyway, look forward to seeing you next week. Bye.